Hi, it's Matt here for newshooter.com at NAB 2019. I'm with Klaus from Sony. Now, this is your brand new FS7, FS7 Mark II build-up kit. Um, what was the inspiration behind this? Well, the inspiration was that we got a lot of feedback from uh, broadcasters who were very happy about the FS, uh, FS7, but they are already using that in what we called cinematic news gathering. Um, it is using the uh, shallow depths of field for creating a different look um, in uh, news gathering. So they, they use the FS7, but in their own style and kind of building up their own shoulder-based kit. And we took this feedback and uh, created uh, a build-up kit that is neatly combining all of this into one nice design together with the FS7. Now this looks sort of very similar to, I guess, the, the build-up kit that you had available for the F5 and F55 that was right. launched quite a long time ago. Um, just run me through what comes with the kit. Well. Um, with the kit comes um, um, an adapter at the back, and here you can see the slot-in for audio. So that, that's the usual slot-in for uh, DWX or uh, um, uh, any other wireless kit from, from Sony. You also have um, a streaming uh, capabilities or wireless capability to build in. So that's ideal uh, for XDCam Air. Um, which is providing the, um, the ability for the broadcasters to access the content as when they are shooting, getting metadata into the camera and uh, providing either streaming or file-based uh, transmission. Of course, V-mount uh, battery block, um, a raw output are still included. You also and uh, time code too, I believe, as well. Indeed, indeed. Um, you have a nice uh, shoulder kit, uh, shoulder plate, uh, plate that you, um, you have the ability to adapt depending on what lens you're using because we have, you have either the choice of before lenses or e-mount lenses. That means you also the, um, the um, uh, gravity, um, the balance of, of this uh, is different and you need to adapt. This is what the, uh, the kit is providing. And on top of this, um, viewfinder is also important in order for you to um, flexibly adapt to what needs you have. Now, is this sort of Sony's push, uh, you know, trying to get the FS7, FS7 II more into broadcast, so to speak, for news coverage? Mm -hmm. Indeed, but um, basically that was a lot of broadcasters already did this. So uh, they, were, they are happy with the FS7. Um, some, of course, prefer um, the traditional shoulder camcorders. Some prefer the FS7 due to the larger sensor, due to the flexibility. So in order, order to give the choice, we have now both. And you've also got a new B4 adapter here for this particular Correct. camera. Now, this is not something new. There's been B4 adapters around for the FS7 and FS7 Mark II, but this one actually communicates and powers a B4 broadcast lens, yeah. as well as giving you information in the viewfinder. And I believe it only uses loses about 0.6 stops of light. That's correct, 0.6 stops only. And I think this is the, a game changer for many customers who would like to use uh, before mount lenses in, in terms of be um, very quick, very quick of, of shooting the same ENG um, uh, production style, but still not lose too many stops and still have the ability to communicate. And also in the future, the uh, ALAC uh, capabilities will be uh, possible. That means the lens is communicating with uh, the camcorder itself and adapting to the lens. Okay, now when are all these things going to be available and, and what sort of price are we looking at? Um, available from December this year and uh, the uh, build-up kit itself will be 6,500 euros and the before adapter will be 5,000 euros. Thanks very much. You're welcome.